Hi guys, <laughs> I'm Perla here. Welcome to my channel, Imperfectly Perfect. So, the other day, um, I went ahead, I'm sorry, it's like so late and my face is like um, swollen and everything, I'm just like whatever. Um, I, I woke up to a message on my um, Instagram from this really amazing person. She, I don't know if you guys have ever connected with people where it's just kind of like it clicks and it's like, oh my God, I've known you for like forever type of thing. Um, she's an amazing person. Um, she has twins. Um, as you know, as I have twins, she has twin boys though. And I mean, I, it was, when I got the message, I was in one of like those, um, you can say like mental conflict. I was having a really hard um, day. Um, not because of anything that was going on. It was just, um, I was extremely exhausted and I'm like, okay, but I've been trying my best to like, you know, stay on my naps and stuff and it just doesn't seem to be working. So to like, you know, get in a sense like validation that people are listening to my messages and people are listening to like, you know, the struggles and stuff that, you know, we go through and stuff like that was um, pretty cool. Um, so thank you. You know who you are. <laughs> And like I said, I promise, like, we need to definitely get together this year. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm just kind of like, today was very cold. Sorry today, but it was it was freezing. But it was funny because I think today was, like, one of the first days that my mama, she's visiting um, my mommy, um, realized, like, to the extent um, that my narcolepsy affects, affects me. So... She wanted to go get some stuff because she wanted to make um one of my my oldest son's um favorite dish. So when we got back, we had bought um salami chachi, <laughs> sachi chong. <laughs> That's what we call it in Dominican Republic. But you know the Dominican salami or whatever. So usually we get I when I get it I usually get the big p the big size and I cut them and I put them in Ziploc bags and I put them in a drawer in the refrigerator. So I had done that, and I had put it away. Um. <laughs> So she's asking me, and I'm telling her, I was like, yo, it's in the fridge, like, in the fridge side, like, you know, in the drawer, blah, 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 and she's like, no, it's not, and I'm like, yes, it is, so, like, I kind of, like, got a little frustrated, and I went to look for it, and then it's not in the drawer, like, it was, just wasn't, and I'm like, yo, but I just put it there, and she's like, are you sure, and I was like, the only other place I can think of, because I was putting stuff in the freezer, I was like, it's the freezer, and sure enough, I had put it in the freezer, it was just one of those things, like, where... I was aiming to put it in the fridge, but I ended up in the freezer. And I told her, I was like, oh, yeah, that happens all the time. I end up putting the milk, like, underneath the sink. I end up putting, like, the Lysol in the fridge. um, Just, like, those little things. And she just kind of looked at me like, yo, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah, I've been telling you this for, like, how many years now? Like, you know, that this is what's going on. So <laughs> I was just like, you know what, lady? Whatever. Like, just let it be. Um, I have been... um. I started, I picked up um, exercising again. Now, anybody that has followed me like on Instagram and Facebook knows that I can go like hardcore like on my workouts. I like, um, I like the challenge. I like pushing my body to that limit. Unfortunately, um, I slowed down a lot because I wasn't getting the same benefits that I was getting before. I was, um, my workouts were my like my day starter. So I was like a five o'clock in the morning every day type of um, exercise routine. And it literally fueled me, fueled, fueled me with um, energy every day. And then it got to a point when I was taking off meds and I wasn't, I wasn't sleeping anymore. I wasn't resting that it was more of a kind of like a burden to my body. So like, instead of giving me the energy, it was actually making me like twice as tired and I couldn't keep up the routine that I had and work at the time. So I eventually stopped. Um, and then I was trying different things, like working out different times of the day. I was trying to see if maybe working out two days and taking a break and maybe working out every other day. So basically the next um, probably six months or so, probably six months to a year is my goal. I'm going to be changing my routine. Um, I haven't decided yet, like how many weeks, but the I am. Um, I did enroll in um, the what is it called? The group um fitness um certificate program because I'm gonna do it. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do. Um, 
fitness. I am so tired, but like I try to go on the street when I can. So anyways, um, fitness is something that I'm very passionate about. I love um, what our bodies can do, um, how you can change um, your body in so many different ways. And so I signed up for the class because I feel like I need to find a way to help people that have narcolepsy or any other like sleep issues because um, anybody that knows that has worked out and that has lost weight and stuff like that, you know, you need, you know, you need a balanced diet, you need a workout and your body needs rest. Um, we lack the rest. Um, we don't rest, unfortunately. So um, I'm on week two of the program that I'm doing. Um, they're only 20 minutes. Um, and I, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed to say it. Um, I take breaks. Uh, because I physically am not where I was um, two years ago. So um, I'm taking my notes um, to see, because it's all about listening to my body to see what it's, um, what is happening during the process and stuff like that. And I have noticed that when I'm done working out now, within half an hour of working out, I'm like extremely exhausted. Like my body's done. It's like I'm like I've literally worked like an entire day. That's what it feels like. And it, like it sucks because it kind of like just like, are you freaking kidding me? Like I want to keep, and I'm gonna keep doing it because like I said, um, the certification is something that I want to do just because I want to be able to help other people. But the challenging myself and challenging my body and challenging my mind in that way is something that I'm doing for myself. Um, but in the process of doing this for myself, I will eventually, hopefully, um, be able to help other people. So that is what's going on with me. So if my posting on the videos, um, seem to be a little longer than usual, it's probably because I'm trying to get my body to recover as much as possible because a 20 minute workout is killing me even with breaks when I used to be able to do a 40, 50, 60 minute, like high intensity, um, workout with no issue. So that is what has been going on with me personally. Um, with my kids, um, they're going to be going away, um, over the weekend. They're leaving on Friday or Saturday. I think it is. Um, they're going to Florida with my sister. Um, so I'm going to be home next week, hopefully praying fingers crossed, sleeping and resting. Um, and that's about it with that. Thank you for watching.